Hello, my name is Mr. Trickster, and today we are visiting the ARC Dev Kit for ARC Survival Ascended. The first thing that you need to do is download, if you haven't already, the Epic Games Launcher. Once you're in here, you can go into the search store option in the top, type in ARC, and you get all of these wonderful options. Very first one at the very top left here says ARC Dev Kit. Should be the only one that you can find in here. Um, the old one was called ARC Mod Kit, and it will say UE4 next to it, so make sure you don't grab that one. You're looking for the ARC Dev Kit. Once you click on it, you're brought to the page for the Dev Kit, and it is free, so you don't have to worry about paying anything for it. Uh, click click on it down here. It should show you to download. And mine says in library because I already have it. Um, but just click on it. It'll start to download. You can watch it. There'll be a button in the bottom left here that you can watch that says downloads. So you can watch as it goes. It is a big one, guys. It is 285 gigabytes. So... Just make sure there's enough hard drive space with room to spare because you're going to need that extra space for processes while you're within the dev kit. So without further ado on that one, let's jump back to the dev kit and let's talk about a couple of things in here. Once you bring the dev kit up, you're going to be greeted with this wonderful gray box grid world. It's more or less just a playground for, for you to run around in. Now, I'm running around with my character right now, so I, so I can show you. But it's more or less if you are in here as as the as as not your character. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't know how to say that one. But if you're in here without being controlling your character, without actually playing in the window here, you're going to be able to fly around using W A S and D. You can use your scroll wheel and your mouse to speed up, bring it down to slow down as you're flying. So th those are important things to to know. Um, you right click to move up and down, move around. You can left click to move just left and right. If you move up and down with your mouse, it zooms in and out with your, with your left click. So just different things to keep in mind as for maneuvering around in here. Just if you're not familiar with Unreal Engine 5, there is a lot of information here within the dev kit. There's a lot of different things that you can get into. First and foremost, the very first thing you need to do is right here at the top, this little page icon. It opens the ARC Dev Kit documentation site in a new browser window. I recommend very highly that you do this. This is going to bring up this page, which is given to us by Studio Wildcard, and it's documentation on how to do everything you need to do within the Dev Kit, like join CurseForge, because they're the ones handling all of the mods. Uh, create new mods, create new maps, the UGC settings, cooking and publishing, arc, uh, I'm sorry, account linking, testing your mods. And then there's a little additional information here. There's also one that explains how to migrate mods from ASE to ASA in case you want to get some of the assets from an old mod that you know and love. So definitely something to, to look into and check out. Um, the other one that you need that I would recommend that you do look up is the... CurseForge website, and you come in here and <clears throat> set up an account because you're going to need to have an account to be able to upload your mods if you create them um, and publish your mods. There's just you can't do it without having an account. So once you create a mod and publish it, it will show up in this list here alongside of all these great mods that Wildcard. Wildcard has provided for us um, through their Arc Editions mod by Garuga. They, I think they worked with him throughout the process of also bringing out ASA to make sure these mods were ready to go. Uh, there's also a map. There's Svartolf Heim. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. Uh, but that's from Necatus Modding. Uh, that's a really good map. It's about 65% done. Uh, it's very beautiful. You definitely should check that out if you get a chance once you get your servers all set up and download that one onto one of the servers and check it out. So back to the actual dev kit itself. So that is that. those two pages there. Um, the 
Curse Forge brings up a lot of other information as far as like knowledge base, what they're what they're calling it. So you can have uh, getting started from the Curse Forge, uh, how to upload a new mod via Arc's Content Creation Kit, cross platform testing, how to publish a new Arc mod, useful links and additional support for Arc. So neither one of these sites have a lot of information, but Zinro has said on on Discord that he will be um, adding more information as time goes on. So definitely keep track of both of those. This button is going to be for when you're actually done and you can cook, you're ready to cook your mod. Uh, this is different settings for the mod itself. And the most important one up here to get started is the UGC out of all, all of these file edit Houdini engine, all this other stuff across here. So UGC, if you click on that, I don't know why it's not showing up. It's, hey, you're, you're ruining my video here. Stop it. That's interesting. Is it because I already have it up? Yes, it is. Okay. So once you click on UGC, it brings down a menu, and you're going to want to start right here with Create Mod. That's going to be the very first place. Now, if you know what you're doing, <clears throat> then you're probably not watching this video, but if you know what you're doing, <laughs> you're going to start with probably an empty mod or a blank mod to, to move forward, or if you're trying to make a map. Those, those are one of the two that you probably want to start with. Um, for those of us that are new to modding, like myself, uh, you want to start with one of these other templates. So you have <clears throat> a creature template, you have a new structure mod, you've got ranged weapon mods, you've got a new outfit mod, and you've got a flyer mod that is based off of the movement of a tap tapajara. So you click on that and it sets everything up for you, gets everything ready to go, and then you're just hit the ground running. So it's a lot better than it used to be. Uh, you, this is where you would go to import a legacy mod. Uh, this is where you go to duplicate an existing mod that you've already done. And then once you've got a mod, it'll show up here in this list. So there's several different uh, options to get started here. You definitely want to go through and make sure you look at the documentation to see what you need to do and get it started. Um, however... That's about it. I'm not going to get into how to make a mod because I don't want to influence anybody's creativity. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm new to it. So I think there's people out there that have made videos on how to create a mod that are way more knowledgeable about it than I am. So I'll leave that to them. I am just showing you the dev kit, how to download it and how to open it up and, and get started creating your mod. So without further ado here, that is it. I'm going to leave you with a beautiful picture of, of our character, and I'm going to say good night.